Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Say, hey, this is a long ride, isn't it? How far are we going? Well, the hospital's on the other side of town. Oh, that's why it's taking so long. Golly, I, I can hardly wait. This is going to be a lot of fun. You bet it is. I tell you, Jerry, we like these performances better than the regular show. Just you wait till you see those kids. I tell you, it'll break your heart. You've been out here before? Well, sure, every time we hit this town. You mean every year you play this town, you go out of this children's hospital and give them a show? Sure, have been doing it for years. <laughs> we look forward to it. Well, how'd you ever happen to think of it? Well, I didn't. Jack Hastings, the publicity man, got the idea. You see, he discovered there was a kid's hospital in this town, and he suggested playing it, well, just for a publicity stunt. Really? Yeah. He figured we'd get lots of free publicity in the paper and everything. Well, did you? Well, I'll say we did. It was the best publicity stunt we'd pulled in years. Well, do you still get publicity? No, only a line or two. Doesn't mean anything anymore. You know, the first time it's news. And after that, it doesn't interest the public. Then why does Mr. Randall go to all this trouble? Golly, it's mighty nice of them. You bet it's nice of them. But you wait to see those kids' faces. And then you'll know why every time we play this stand, we give a performance for these children. It must cost something fierce, paying for this big bus to get us across town and everything. Well, sure it does. But he likes to do it, and the rest of us like to put on a show for those poor kiddies. Hey, they look forward every year to when this circus comes to town, and, oh, say, looks like we're almost there. Hey, Jason, Bunk says we're most there. I'm counting on you to help me with Fuzzy's crate, Jerry. Sure thing, as soon as we stop. Hey, why hasn't Jason been out here before? Oh, he couldn't very well bring his big lions out to the hospital grounds, and this is the first year he's had a cub lion to work. Golly, then, then maybe some of those kids never saw a lion, huh? Why, lots of them. You see, Jerry, this is a kind of a experimental hospital. Uh, cases come here from all over the world. You mean sick kids that other doctors couldn't help? That's it, exactly. So lots of these youngsters have been in bed for years, or well, some of them all their lives. Oh, how awful. Imagine not being able to get out in the air to walk or play. Yeah, I tell you, it's pretty tough for these little shut-ins. Well, some of them have to be in plaster casts, and others are stretched out on beds and things, and only allowed to move when the doctors and nurses say they can. Gee whiz. I guess we don't know how lucky we are. Yeah, that's true. And yet these children are lucky, too. You know, they've cured lots of children in this hospital that other doctors have given up and not been able to do anything for. Say, this must be a pretty famous hospital. It certainly is. Oh, say, there it is now, you see? You see that big white building? Boy, that's a big place. Come on, Rags, wake up. You wake up, you sleepyhead, and you listen to me. I want you to give the best performance of your life this morning. Oh, yes, sir. I guess these kids deserve it more than any audience you've ever played to before. Come on, Jerry. Come on, up through the top. Come on. Just a second, Jason. Here, Reg. You stay here with Bump. I got work for you. Well, Bump, here we are again. Guess those youngsters will be pretty glad to see me again. Well, they certainly will, Major Mike. You've got quite a pull with children. I certainly have. And with grown-ups, too. 
It's remarkable how folks crowd around to see me. Yes, it wouldn't be a circus, I guess, if I weren't along. Oh, you'd take everybody to make a circus. All the animals and clowns and performers and... Uh, yes, 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 of course. I'm not belittling the rest of the show. It's only, uh, well, you see, Jerry, I can't help noticing how my public looks forward to seeing me every year. Well, I'll be seeing you later. Oh, uh, hello there, Beppo. Want to make it a new pair of shoes this year? Well, I know, Mr. Major, that uh, seems like a pretty expensive bet. A uh, pair of shoes, eh? Huh. So you're afraid of losing, huh? No, 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 no. I bury anything you say. Just because you win the last year, she's no sign you ever win again. From Beppo the Clown and his very clever monkey friend, Jacko. Huh. You and Jacko. Of course, you're all right, but I tell you, Beppo, after all... Children are the best judges in the world. They know a good performer when they see one. Uh, I, I tell you two pairs of shoes. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to rob a poor clown. Oh, uh, no, I'll tell you. You buy me one pair of shoes. That's enough. Uh, oh. We shall see who buys any shoes. Say, what's that all about, boss? Oh, oh, it's a regular feud those two have worked up over which one of them the children will like best. This has been going on ever since the first year we came here. Well, I gotta hurry, cause cause I play the ringmaster. I'll see you later, Jerry. See you later, Buff. Come on, Jason. Well, it's about time. I thought you'd forgotten all about your old friend Fuzzy. I almost did. Say hello there, Fuzzy. Golly, every time I see you, you seem to be getting larger. <laughs> he is. Yeah, but so fast. Well, he's got to grow up to those big paws of his. You can't be tumbling over him all his life. Yeah, I guess so. Wait, I'll, I'll take this end of Fuzzy's cage. Oh, that's right, Jerry. Get a good hold. We've got to carry him way over to the garden. Is that where they give the show? Yeah, so I hear. They say the sickest children watch from the windows, while those who are well enough are brought into the garden. Gee, that's swell. Lucky it's a nice day. What if it rains? Well, it did one year. They had to play in some big hall inside. The fellow said it wasn't half so nice. Yes, we're kind of lucky. Well, yeah, so are the kids. Hey, what's the matter, Fuzzy? Don't you like this ride? <laughs> He's just talking. He likes company. Hi there, Beppo. How's Jacko doing? Oh, he's the fit as a violin. <laughs> you mean fiddle. No, no, no. I admire a violin too much to call him a fiddle. We Italians don't make a fall of music like Americans. How do things look for the big bet this year, Beppo? Ah, uh, I, I gotta be a secret. I'm sure to win this year. I won last year, but that major, he cheats. He played bride on a groom with that big dog. <laughs> I'm afraid he was pretty smart, Beppo. Yeah, well, this year, Beppo, he's got something on his sleeve. Oh, we can hardly wait, Beppo. More power to you. Be sure you watch close, Jason. Well, you bet I will. Good luck, Beppo. Come on, Jacko. We got lots to do. Goodbye, my friend. It'll be fun to see which one wins the contest this year. Well, the whole company enjoys the competition as much as Beppo and the major do. Never mind, Fuzzy. We'll be there pretty soon. Yeah, I guess it's a place, all right. Hey, look at all those children out there on the lawn. Well, this is a dandy place for them. Those terraces make a natural theater. But they've got beds and wheelchairs and all kinds of things out on the lawn. Yeah. They bring out all the children that are well enough. Gee whiz, look how excited they are. Golly, wish there was something nice I could do for them. Well, you're going to be the assistant master of ceremonies, aren't you? Yeah, I'm supposed to go around among the children and answer any questions they ask. Yeah, I hope I'll know all the answers. Oh, you will. It'll be exciting to meet them, to have them meet a boy who travels with his circus. Here, Jerry, put Fuzzy down here. I won't take him out until it's time for the anchor. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Mr. Randall brings to you lucky youngsters of this fair town some of his greatest performers, stars from all over the world. But first of all, I take great pleasure in introducing to you... Gee whiz, I, I gotta get over there. Bye, Jason. ...the youngest member of our troop, Mr. Jerry Dugan, who has kindly offered to pass among you and answer all the questions I know you'd like to ask about the wonders of this stupendous circus, the greatest traveling show on the face of the earth. Boys and girls, meet Jerry Dugan. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm sure glad to meet you all. I hope I'll know all the answers. You see, I've only been with this circus this season, and as I've been asking so many questions, I guess Mr. Randall thought it my turn to answer some. Maybe some of you folks will be able to thank up some brand new questions and, and <laughs> that I haven't thought myself. Well, I doubt that, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, I'm mighty glad to be here. The show's ready to go on, and I, 
I hope you'll like us as much as we like being here. Try and think up some new questions, because I'm coming around to say hello. Oh, well, thank you, Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, the show will begin. My friends, the clowns will open the performance. And remember, everything is in fun. The most serious thing in the world to a clown <laughs> is a laugh. So let's get on with the show. <laughs> <laughs> Fun being a circus. Never been treated so nice in my life. Golly, I've always dreamed of being with a circus. You have? You've been here long? Most of my life. You mean you, you've had to lie flat in bed like that most of your life? Yes, but it's not so bad, though, when you get used to it. But what do you do? Oh, lots of things. I read and... <laughs> I'll tell you one game I made up after I saw the circus. I made up games about what it would be like living with all the clowns and animals. You and... did? <laughs> That's funny. I used to do that before I belonged to the circus. You did? Sure, often. You see, Dad was with the circus for years, before I was born. Gee, wish I could just once see what it's like. You know, back where the performers are and... I'll tell you what. When are you going to get up? Well, the doctor thinks this winter... Then I gotta learn to walk all over again. Golly. I'll tell you what I'll do. If you're well enough and can walk by next year when we come to this town again, I'll take you over to the circus and show you all over it. You will? You bet I will. Show you all the animals and you can meet everybody and, and eat with us and everything. Honest? Oh, gee, I, I can hardly believe it. You really mean it, don't you? You bet your life I do. Say, look, what on earth is the major doing? Where? Oh, I see. You mean the midget. Yeah. Look, he's wheeling a doll carriage. <laughs> oh, say, look, he's got a baby doll in it. Look, let him take a bottle out of the carriage and feed the doll. Oh, I see what he's up to. Trying to beat Beppo again. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I, I just thought of something. <laughs> look, he's going to paddle the baby. I, I didn't realize Major Mite was so much of a clown. Is he a clown, too? No, but he's good and funny, isn't he? Terry, he's got the baby quiet at last. He had a great big doll last time. Pretended it was his bride. Yeah, I heard about him. You like the major? Oh, yes. He's lots of fun. Sometimes he comes around and talks to us, too. What about Beppo, the clown with the little monkey and the organ grinder? You like him, too? Oh, yes. He's funny, too. This monkey's very smart. Wonder which one will win today. Well, what are you talking about? Hey, look. Here comes my friend Jason with a lion cub. I'll be back and tell you about it later. I, I gotta go and talk to some other children now. Oh, yes, of course. I didn't mean to be selfish, but you will come back, won't you? I sure will. I promise. Cross my heart. Goodbye. <laughs>